Okay, we have four pounds of large raw shrimp. These defrost them in the refrigerator overnight and then I rinse them in some cold water. Uh, and now they're gonna sit at room temperature while we prep the rest of the ingredients and go from there. So these are 31 to 40 count per pound. And the planned serving size for this meal is half a pound per person. So we'll end up freeze drying and taking about three quarters or three pounds of this uh, for a six person backpacking meal. Okay, so I have whole garlic cloves here and we're using about one ounce or 28 grams per pound and we're preparing four pounds, so that's 112 grams of garlic cloves. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start by crushing these. Okay, and then we're just gonna mince these up. So there's the garlic. Okay, we have washed uh, five green onions. We're gonna take the uh, tops off of some of these and brown a little. Okay. We're gonna get rid of the little root ends. Okay, I'm going to use the white parts in here with this garlic. And we're going to save the green parts. Dish. I have a medium red onion. Okay. Now we're going to prepare some spices to go into the dish. We're going to use 
Szechuan peppercorns. Got a heaping half tablespoon of those. And then we've got a tri pepper blend of peppercorns. And we're gonna go with a teaspoon of those. Gonna go with a dash of five spice blend. Maybe three dashes. We're gonna go with one hot pepper. This is like a medium hot, not a super hot. And uh, we're just gonna tear that up. We're gonna include the seeds. And we're not gonna put the stem that connected to the plant in there. Okay, then we're gonna dump that in the spice grinder. And there is our spice that we're gonna add. Okay. Now we're gonna prepare a couple of things. We're gonna prepare the sauce to initially cook it in, which is gonna be pretty basic. And then later we're gonna prepare the uh, bang bang shrimp style sauce to finish it off. So to start with, we're using liquid aminos instead of soy sauce. And we're gonna add one tablespoon per pound. This is a half tablespoon measuring device, so eight of these. And then we have oyster sauce. We're going to go with one tablespoon. So two half tablespoons. Stir that a little bit to nothing else clean like measuring spoon. A little bit. Then we're going to go with two tablespoons of uh, rice vinegar. just half a tablespoon on the front end with the sesame oil. We will add a little more sesame oil in the finishing sauce. And then we're going to go with about a tablespoon of the brown swerve. That should offset the Acid and balance it a little bit. Half a tablespoon. One tablespoon. All right, I'm going to stir that up a little bit. The swerve doesn't need to be totally dissolved because it will finish dissolving uh, if it's not already uh, once it gets into the saute. Okay, so that's what we're going to cook it in and then we're going to finish with kind of our version of a bang bang shrimp inspired sauce. So we're going to go with a couple of tablespoons, half, one, two of liquid aminos. Another tablespoon of sesame oil. We're 
going to go with, this is a garlic chili sauce that we're going to be using to give it a little bit of kick. So I'm just going to use a normal heaping tablespoons here. We're going to use four heaping tablespoons, one per pound. And then we're going to add some mayonnaise. And we're just going to kind of do this. So we get the consistency that we like to begin with. Now we're going to dump in the spice blend that we made with the Szechuan peppercorns and the black pepper. And we're going to get that all mixed in. Okay, so now we are going to get the shrimp ready and get some butter in the saute pan and start. Okay, so I've got the pots warmed up. I'm using a large Dutch oven instead of a skillet just because of the volume. And we're gonna add six tablespoons of cherry gold grass-fed butter. Okay. Butter looks pretty good. So now we're going to add the red onions, the green onions, and the garlic that we prepared earlier. Now in with the four pounds of fully uh, thawed large shrimp. We're gonna add in our sauce that we made to cook. So I've cut up some cilantro here and just use cilantro to taste when we put in the green onions. We've got about a cup and a quarter of cilantro here. So the shrimp are nearly done. It's been almost six minutes, but we want the shrimp to be cooked through, but not tough. And so we're almost there. One last stir, and I'm just looking for any shrimp that are not bright pink. They all look good. So we're going to turn off the heat. They'll continue to cook. We're going to add the uh, green onions that we chopped up. 
and we're going to add the cilantro to taste. Take the lemon that we whoops, prepared. Let us stir. Okay, and now in with the sauce. And that is really it. You could eat this now. Uh, we're actually going to move it off of the hot uh, part of the cooking range, let it cool a little bit, and then prepare it in a harvest dry, freeze dry tray uh, to go into the deep freeze and freeze so that we can then freeze dry it in the freeze dryer um, to eat on top of some shrimp fried rice or you know, cauliflower risotto type side when we're out in the field. Bang Bang Shrimp Inspired Dish. Put the vacuum off. what we got. So this is the Bang Bang Sriracha Shrimp Inspired Dish. It feels and looks dry. This is the other half of the shrimp dish. Ready to vacuum pack. What else do we have? We've got some strawberries and some blueberry bars and then we got some marshmallows including the candy corn special edition marshmallows all right now we've got the bang bang inspired shrimp entree all vacuum sealed and ready to go a nice freeze dry and this is the chicken fried rice to go with the bang bang shrimp freeze dried meal So we're winding up the day. We've had dinner. Uh, we just finished that. We had bang bang shrimp and chicken fried rice followed by uh, fresh caught trout and they were delicious. Thanks for joining and remember when you can get up, get out, live a little. See ya. Yeah, there's really, we're probably a little little head on the plane, but... <laughs> Is that trout flambe? Yeah, yeah flambe.